Welcome back to JSA TV Live, where we are coming to you from the show floor at Yada in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure industry. And today, we have a one first time JSA TV -er and a returning star on JSA TV. We've got Mai Trong and Andreas from Zutacor. Thank you, gentlemen, for stopping by. Thank you. We always have to give our new JSA TV friends a little extra love. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about Zutacor and your approach to AI chips. My, we'll, we'll start with you. Yeah. So how do those contribute to maximizing uptime and just really enabling denser AI racks, which is such a need, right? Yeah, so the, the AI market for us is very interesting. We have a, a very unique approach to liquid cooling. We're bringing a two-phase liquid cooling solution to market using a pool boiling approach. So it's a directed chip. We have a heat sink that sits on top of the, the silicon, and that provides us a way to really remove heat effectively using a two-phase approach. For us, because we're taking a pool boiling approach, you can really think of us as like a mini two-phase immersion system. And so we take advantage of this mini immersion two-phase system to effectively remove heat and drive a very simple solution into the market. Uh, we have a bit of IP that we've described in the past. We have a fin and boiling or a fin and wicking solution for our boiling. And so that makes us very efficient in the way that we remove heat from systems. On the maximizing the, the benefits here, it, we really are, because it's a pool boiling approach, we take advantage of the fact that on the vapor side of our system, we have it a very simple way of managing that vapor. And so that gives us a way of very much benefiting the, the simplicity of the system and making it very easy to manage any sort of like uptime needs and all the density requirements that come along the way. From a density view, our density is very, very high. We have test data showing over 2.5 kilowatt of power dissipation on silicon. So that's for us, uh, shows us at least two generations of silicon roadmap. Um, and being able to effectively and efficiently remove that heat from that type of silicon. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Andres, Andreas, excuse me, we'll, we'll put this second question to you. Can you talk to us more about how Zutacor helps organizations achieve better efficiency and also that lower total cost of ownership? Yeah, I think the most important part is to make everything very simple. And uh, with the help of my team, we were capable within the last months to be now on the shelf available from certain server manufacturers. I can name Compal or SROC. And on the other side, we have a very good team on the engineering side to scale up white design of racks and the holistic approach of cooling and data centers, not only on the white space, also going into the gray space and giving them, uh, yeah, not only calculated partial PoE, measured per, uh, PoE by third parties, which are really showing high efficiency. And um, based on that, we can say also when our initial cost to install our solution is maybe slightly higher, two, three, four, five percent. At the end, within less than two years, you have a payback, and that counts when the customer looks for the TCO calculations. Yeah, yeah. I think good. I'll add to that a little bit in that we're driving a ton of innovation as well using yeah. our two phase approach. We have a partner named Munters. Uh, we're taking advantage of their two phase thermal siphon and driving an end to end two phase system. So we can show the best in class PUE from a 1.03 to 1.04 PUE, driving that end-to-end -end two phase solution from the chip using our pool boiling approach all the way out to the ambient condition where we dissipate that heat outside of the data center. Yeah, it, it's really a whole ecosystem starting ecosystem. to work together. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Let's talk a little bit about water. We're hearing a lot about water. I, you, you make a little bit of a face here, so yeah, you, you get it. Uh, we, we can't talk about data centers without anymore talking about power and water usage. So how does Zutacor address that critical need for water conservation in data centers? And how does this really align with broader sustainability goals? We'll, we'll start with you, Mike. Yeah, so on, on the water side, the solution itself is not a water-based solution. We don't have water inside of our technical solution at all. We take advantage of a two-phase fluid to reject heat. And we can extend that as I was describing earlier, we can extend that all the way outside of the data center. So inside of the data center, no water requirement, no water on the IT equipment itself. And we can extend that all the way outside of the building to dry coolers, but we don't need to evaporate water for our solution to be effective in removing it heat and rejecting it from the system. So that from an end to end view on the data center itself is a very, very huge positive for locations that are extremely water sensitive in the way they operate. Absolutely. I, I only like to add the marketing slogan what we use for that. Uh, we say water is for human, but not for servers. I like it. It's such easy. Uh, I think we have not only the power scarcity, we are also running in the water scarcity. 
Well, that that's becoming. I like that. What is for for human, not for service? Yeah, because it's becoming a, a question that communities ask, and so it's amazing yeah. that you just have that that piece solved for that helps helps with the community piece. So you guys are doing wonderful work at Zutacor. Keep it up. We look forward to having you both back on JSA TV. Right. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Thanks for having thank us. You. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in. We've got much more to come here from Yada, so don't go anywhere. But in the meantime, stay curious and stay connected.